you say that. So we sell drugs now. This one doesn't have a number. It might be an Altoid. Or Oxy. Good Girls premieres March 3rd and stream season one anytime. Well, we end season one with a surprise. Rio has slid a gun over to Beth and says, take care of her husband. And that's where we break. I think season two is a lot darker. There's so many things that we're doing. We needed the money. Everybody needs money. There's something for everyone. Well, I think that's why a lot of people like the show, because it is so one minute dark, one minute humorous. <sighs> Obviously, one of the coolest parts about the show is the relationship between these three women. Are you happy or sad? I don't know. And the stakes for these women is that it's everything. A street gang was gonna kill us. Well, then you come to me. I didn't want to involve you. And here we are. Keeping your family together and making sure they're safe are sort of the highest stakes of all. Their entire world is their community and their family and their homes and their marriages. Just shoot them. Shut up! And if that starts to tumble... What are you doing, Beth? Then they have nothing. What are you doing, Elizabeth? These are kick-ass women who are in way over their heads. You, you tell them what you did, how you did it, and who you did it with. It's not just like we're holding guns in people's faces and yelling. We're actually showcasing the multifaceted elements of these women's strengths. I like that there's a surprise around every corner and that it's OK to laugh and cry within one episode. I did something. I literally get hives every time you say that. Cause good girls don't make history.